Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel. So let us begin with the very fresh chapter for the day that is chapter number 21. Now the name of the chapter is surface area, volume and capacity. Alright, so before we begin with the exercise, let us first understand what is the meaning of surface area, volume and capacity. Alright, so surface area. For example, uh, let me take any solid. For example, I'll show you here this chalk box. All right. So if you see here, if you know, it's very good. This uh, shape is known as cuboid. All right. So in this case, we have got six different phases. All right. So this is one phase. This is another phase. This is another phase. This is another. And similarly, we have got this phase, and we have got this phase. Isn't it? Now. If I find the area of each face, all right, so find the area of this, find area of this, find area of each face, all right. So after finding, if you add them up, the total, whichever total you get is known as its surface area, all right. Now next case is volume. Now volume means, actually both volume and capacity means the same, okay. So volume is the space covered by the particular object all right so please remember this happens only in three dimensional objects not in rectangle and square and circles and all all right so it happens only in three dimensional objects so volume is the space occupied by any object for example this chalk box is occupying only this much of space right right so this is its volume all right now next case is capacity the capacity means the storage all right so storage and this storage is also actually a kind of volume all right so both capacity and volume represents the same thing okay so capacity means how much is the storage and volume means how much space is covered all right so both stands for the same now let us begin with the first topic for the day that is we are going to learn the formula of cuboid and cube all right so as i already told you the shape of a cuboid is somewhat like this so this is the shape of a cuboid all right so i have drawn the cuboid for you okay so let me call this to be my length all right so this is my length and i am representing it by small l all right now this is my breadth we call it breadth so this is my breadth and we represent this breadth by small b all right so this is my height so this is going to be my height and here in the diagram this represents my height all right so if you see here carefully this breadth and this breadth will be equal to each other this height and this is also my height this is my length this is also going to be my length and this is also my length and this is also my length all right now if this is my small l this is my small b and this is my small h then the volume formula will be l into b into h all right so this is my volume formula and t is a means total surface area okay so please mark a make a note of that so tsa means total surface area and total surface area is given by this formula so this is 2 into lb plus bh plus hl all right so if you want to know how to get this formula this is already explained in your book you can have a look at that or else this is not so necessary for us we just need to know the formula all right so please make a note of these two formula and you have to note in the very same order all right and the next case is cube okay so next kind of solid that we are going to learn in this particular exercise that the, the first exercise that is 21a is a cube and most of you are quite aware of the shape of a cube right so you have already played or you have already come across something called rubik's cube right so in a cube what happens is all the sides all the sides will have same edges all right so here i don't have a rubik's cube so it's going to be a quite funny thing for you so there's a cube for me all right so this is my cube and if you see here each face so each face is a square here all right so this is a square shape here also we have got a square shape here also we have got square here also we have got square and here this is also square this is also square all right so all this 
all the sides or all the faces are of square shape. So, in square, in a square, we know that each side will be equal, isn't it? So, that's why this side, this side, this side, all of them will be equal to each other in case of a cube, all right. So, since all of them are equal, that's why I'm not writing them as L, B and H. I'm going to write them as the same quantity, all right. So, I'm not writing L, B and H separately. Let me write each side or each face by the letter A. That means the length of this part is A. Similarly, this is also my A and this is also going to be my A, all right. So, if all the we call it edges, all right. So, we do not call it face, we call it edges, all right. So, these are called edges, please remember that. So, in this case, in cube, what happens is all the edges are equal, right. So, that is why in this case, the volume formula becomes A cube. Actually, it is length into breadth into height, that is A into A into A. So, A into A into A is how much? It is A cube, all right. And similarly, here we have total surface area will be 6a square. How to get 6a square? Let us see. So, L is uh, length is also a, breadth is also a. So, a into a is a square. Similarly, this also a square, this also a square. a square plus a square plus a square is 3a square, right? And 3a square into 2 is 6a square, all right? So, this will be the volume and uh, TSA for cuboid and this will be my volume and total surface area for a cube, all right? So, you may pause the video to note down the formula. Okay, so the third figure that we learn in this particular chapter is called cylinder, all right. So, this is my third figure, okay. Now, you are already aware of the shape called cylinder. So, this shape is called a cylinder, all right. So, here in cylinder, what do we have is in the base, all right. So, we call it base and this is also called base, all right. So, both base will be of circular shape, all right. And we know that in a circle, we deal with something called radius, right? So, here also we deal with something called radius, all right? So, this is called radius, all right? So, from here to here is called radius of the diameter. I am sorry, the radius of the base of the cylinder, all right? And we already know that diameter, all right? So, diameter will be 2 times r, alright. So, this is my formula for diameter. So, diameter will be double the radius, alright. Now, next is this is called my height, alright. So, this is my height which is denoted as h, alright. Now, in this case, we have volume, okay. So, formula for volume will be pi r square h. Now, this pi Okay, so you already know about pi. So the value of pi here is 22 by 7. All right. So this is my volume formula for a cylinder. And next is total surface area. So total surface area formula is 2 pi r h. All right. So r is the radius of the base and h is the height of the cylinder. And there is something called area of cross section. So, area of cross section. So, the formula for cross section. Now, let us try to understand what is the meaning of cross section. For example, there is a cylinder. Okay. So, if you cut the cylinder, you will see this kind of shape, right? So, if you are not able to see, you can take any cylinder, cylindrical shape and you can look at the base. All right. So, if you cut the cylinder then again you will see the same shape right that is the circular shape. So, this circular shape is known as its cross section all right. So, the area of cross section means it is area of circle right. So, we know that the area of circle with radius how much r will be given by pi r square all right. So, these are the different formula that we need to learn for a cylinder. All right. And if they ask you what is the circumference of the cylinder, circumference, all right. So, circumference will be equal to 2 pi r, all right. So, these are the different formula that we learn in this particular chapter, all right. So, you may pause the video to note down the formula.